In 1988, In the Heat of the Night debuted on TV, grabbing people's attention with its portrayal of crime and justice in a small southern town. Mixing humor, shock, and sadness, the show keeps viewers interested episode after episode. What makes it still popular today? Maybe it's the timeless topics like race, morality, and community. Or perhaps it's a scene that sticks with you long after the show ends. We'd love to hear your memories and thoughts about this show. Share your stories below. Stay tuned for more interesting facts about In the Heat of the Night. The original movie In the Heat of the Night came out in 1967 and made a big impression on a lot of people. Even though someone missed many episodes because they were in the military, they saw one on WGN 9 from Chicago and got hooked right away. The writing was good, and the actors, especially Carol O'Connor and Howard Rollins, did a great job. They played Sheriff Gillespie and Virgil Tibbs and had good chemistry together, which made the crime show even better. Some later episodes didn't have all the original actors, but the show stayed pretty good overall. It's sad that some of the main actors aren't around anymore, but In the Heat of the Night is still really popular with fans both old and new. Howard E. Rollins Jr., known for his role in A Soldier's Story directed by Norman Jewison, who also directed the film version of In the Heat of the Night. In 1988, he began starring in the TV series. Rollins attended the 2006 Twilight Zone convention at the Hilton Hasbrouck Heights, New Jersey. He picked up smoking during the stage production of The Big Knife, which he continued until 1989 when doctors advised him to quit. In the Heat of the Night was filmed in Covington, Georgia, the same town where the Dukes of Hazard was shot for its initial five episodes. The series also benefited from the talent of Rob Reiner, who was encouraged by his All in the Family co-star to write multiple early episodes. Additionally, he auditioned for the role of Captain Benjamin Lafayette Sisko on Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Hugh O'Connor, son of a renowned actor, also made a name for himself in the industry. Born in April 1962, he tragically passed away in March 1995. Not to be confused with the Dublin-born actor of the same name, O'Connor faced rejection from the U.S. Navy during World War II. Instead, he briefly attended the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy before venturing into the merchant seaman profession. As executive producer of the series, he often brought in close friends and musicians for guest appearances. Two favorites were Gene Simmons and Bobby Short. O'Connor also granted Lois Nettleton, a longtime friend, a significant recurring role in the initial seasons. In the Heat of the Night, a TV series from 1988 had a significant cast member who made notable achievements beyond the show. He traveled to Ireland during his college years and opted to complete his studies there, with his future wife Nancy joining him. He later became the first vice president of the Screen Actors Guild in 2005. Additionally, he appeared as a contestant on the game Show Child's Play in 1982, which was hosted by Bill Cullen. These experiences enriched his career and added to his diverse background in the entertainment industry. In 1988, a TV series called In the Heat of the Night started, featuring an actor with an interesting sports background. Before acting, he played for the BC Lions in the Canadian Football League in the early 70s. After that, he showed his skills as a linebacker for the Oakland Raiders and another Canadian Football League team. The show had a great storyline and character dynamics, including Gillespie's loyal dog Hunter, a black lab. Hunter added charm to the show, making it popular worldwide. The actor brought depth and authenticity to his character, leaving a lasting impression on fans. The chemistry between him and his dog resonated with viewers, making the show enduringly popular. In the Heat of the Night became a favorite with its interesting story and memorable characters, leaving a lasting memory in TV history. The tale of Gillespie, his dog Hunter, and the characters they met is still loved by fans, showing the timeless appeal of this classic series. In the late 1980s, a really famous series caught everyone's attention. One of the guys from Sigma Phi Epsilon Fraternity became well known in the world of TV and movies because of his role in that amazing show. He was so good at it that in 2016, he got into the International Mustache Hall of Fame. That just shows how talented he is and how much he contributed to the industry. But his life had some tough times too. Something really sad happened in his family when his son, Hugh O'Connor, got caught up in drug addiction and ended his own life. It was a terrible loss for him and his family, but he didn't let it beat him down. He used his fame to talk about the dangers of drugs and try to help others avoid the same fate. Even with all the ups and downs in his career and personal life, 
He showed he was strong and cared about making things better, both on and off the screen. His story still inspires people today, showing how important it is to be kind and stand up for what's right. Carol O'Connor, born to a New York City lawyer father and an educator mother, first caught the attention of audiences through his notable portrayal of Dr. Zachary Smith on Lost in Space. This early fame set the stage for O'Connor's diverse career in the entertainment industry. In the series, he skillfully brought the character to life, creating memorable moments for viewers. Gillespie's dog, a charming companion in the show, was affectionately named Beauregard, adding warmth to the narrative. Meanwhile, Bubba's faithful canine companion went by the name Knothead, creating a dynamic and endearing element to the storyline. The police force in the series had their own set of four-legged allies, Samson and Delilah, who played crucial roles as drug-sniffing dogs, showcasing the versatility of the characters and their contributions to the plot. As O'Connor continued to showcase his talent in the entertainment world, it was clear that his acting skills went beyond specific genres. The depth he brought to each role, whether in the sci-fi show Lost in Space or elsewhere, demonstrated his ability to captivate audiences across different settings. It was this versatility that ultimately led to his memorable role in the critically acclaimed series, In the Heat of the Night. The show, featuring him as the central character, highlighted his acting abilities and became a significant milestone in his career. The dynamic interplay between characters and engaging narratives kept audiences hooked, making it a significant chapter in television history. Carol O'Connor's impact extends beyond the characters he portrayed, leaving a lasting impression on the entertainment industry. His ability to bring depth and authenticity to his roles remains a testament to his skill. In the Heat of the Night stands as a reminder of his lasting influence, solidifying his place as a legendary figure in television history. In summary, Carol O'Connor's career, marked by diverse roles and memorable performances, showcases the depth of his talent and the timeless appeal of his work. Carol O'Connor, known for his roles in films alongside Sidney Poitier, starred with him in The Defiant Ones and For Love of Ivy. Later, he took the lead in the 1988 TV show In the Heat of the Night, which was based on the 1967 Poitier movie of the same name. This show was a big moment in his career. The police station scenes in the show were filmed at the post office and then the public library in Covington Ga. The bar in the series was actually a beauty parlor. This creative use of places made the fictional town feel more real. In 2007, O'Connor went to the Twilight Zone convention at the Hilton Hasbrow Heights in New Jersey. It happened on August 4-5, and it let fans meet him outside of his role in the show. The simple filming spots and O'Connor's visit to the Twilight Zone convention show different sides of his career beyond in the heat of the night. These details give fans more insight into his work in the entertainment industry.